What happened in, this, in late 2015, early 2016 was totally different. We saw changes in China suddenly having ripple effects elsewhere in the world. So that situation is also changing as we speak. And the level of risks and the level of interconnectedness is ever so strong, while at the same time, and that's what's peculiar, which you know well, is that while we have these massive interconnected risks, at the same time, because of fear, because of uncertainty, because of lack of confidence, people are tempted to retire behind their borders and to say, let's just protect our turf. Let's just be behind our borders. Let's do things at home and never mind the rest of the world. Well, as it is, the rest of the world is not at your doorstep. It's with us. And we are, whether we like it or not, massively interconnected. Epidemics ignore borders. Financial crisis ignore borders. Terrorists, as we sadly know, ignore borders as well. So my take on this is that we simply cannot choose that road which would seem comfortable of retiring behind our borders. We have to face that adversity and that potential for opportunities together.